Parkour is an art of movement in which you train the body to overcome obstacles in the most efficient or effective way. Parkour teaches you to problem solve, overcome fear, think critically in life if I have a problem. How am I going to get around it? How am I going to overcome it? Ryan Ford, a junior at the University of Colorado, was 16 years old when he started practicing parkour, a largely underground sport that involves running, jumping, vaulting, and rolling through different environments. How did you get into it? I wanted to learn how to do a type of flip, and I went online and came across parkour videos. And I thought it looked really cool, like something I'd want to try. From there, I just went outside and started trying some stuff and just got hooked. There are an estimated 40,000 American tracers, or practitioners of parkour. Founded in France in the mid-80s, the sport is now showing up in pop culture, with appearances in the latest James Bond movie, Casino Royale, Scion commercials, and K-Swiss ads. Is it an, an extreme sport? How is it different? We definitely don't see it as an extreme sport. It's more of a discipline that takes a lot of focus, hard work, practice, and without all those things, you just have reckless jumping around. It looks <laughs> reckless to me, just yeah. watching it. Before you can jump from a building to another building and take a 10-foot drop, you condition for years, and we progress very slowly. So we'll do something hundreds of times at ground level. Parkour does have risks, though no deaths have ever officially been attributed to the sport. Injury rates are similar to action sports like skateboarding or motocross. But it's also a discipline, and its core philosophies, extreme preparation, technique, and concentration are more in line with martial arts. You gotta go nice and steady. Ford now teaches parkour nice. classes in Boulder. Good. Nice. Right now I see Ryan as the leader of the parkour community. Yeah. He wants to start a parkour gym and just expand parkour in the community and get everyone to know what it is. Really focused. This is all about balance here. I mean, he's dedicated and he knows what he's talking about. Parkour is basically Ryan's life. Like He takes it more seriously than almost anything else I can think of. For Ford and many other tracers, parkour's mecca is France. And going there to learn from French masters was Ford's dream. For those of you guys who don't know, I'm going to France on Thursday. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be meeting up with a lot of the original French tracers and I'm gonna learn a lot and hopefully bring it back and share it with everyone here. Parkour started in France. It evolved into something where tracers from all over the world wanna make the journey to. It's a parkour mecca. <laughs> What was your motivation to go to France? I have been getting very serious over the past year or two. At some point, I've got to go to France, and I've got to go see where it started, and I've got to go meet the people who developed it into what it is now. They have so much more to teach me, and I have so much more to learn. In late September, Ford arrived in Paris to meet his first set of teachers, part of a group of French tracers called the Yamakaze. I'm Ryan. Okay, nice to meet you. Laurent, right? Yeah, Laurent. It's Ciao. Ciao, I'm yeah. Ryan. Nice to meet you guys. Are you ready for the training? Yeah, I look forward to what you guys can teach me. What the Yamakaze do mentally and physically, they're able to push themselves so hard. I was just trying my best to not give up and do every single exercise and finish everything just okay. like they were. Okay, one more, one more, one more, one more. Allez, push, push, push. <laughs> they do everything just at another level. They do it a lot harder, longer. They're masters of it. I'm just happy that I had been doing some training like that. Otherwise, there would have been no way I could have made it through that. Last one. Allez, five. Allez, allez. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. L'art du déplacement or parkour is a um, school of life. He's very strong, he has a really good energy, but he cannot have this energy only in training. I have to have it in life. I pass obstacles here, I will pass obstacles in life. Next, Ford met with Stéphane Vigro and Sebastian Goudot, elite tracers considered in the parkour community to be two of the foremost instructors in the world. 
So you have to stay three seconds. <laughs> three seconds? Yeah. Okay. You're here. Try not to touch the floor. This is a big gap. You know, you can't fall. You can't fall down. One of the biggest things they're concerned about is just trying your best, always pushing harder, and it's just a love for the movement. But if movement is their religion, the temple for Tresors is the Dame du Lac, or Lady of the Lake, a massive 50-foot climbing wall on the outskirts of Paris. It's where Stéphane and other French Tresors honed their craft. This parkour landmark is now closed to the public after two climbers, who were not Tresors, fell to their deaths. Our cameras followed as these Tresors snuck in for Ryan's first climb. Coming here, I think it's a good experience for him to see it for real, experience the, the training with us. Uh, but he's, he's doing well. Yes. Like I told him, there's no rush, it's not a race. Just take your time being strong. Yeah, you can put yeah, your foot on this, this wall. Yeah. You can grab, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> feels awesome. Seeing it so many times in video, it's just yeah. it's crazy to actually be up on top. Yeah. How did that visit to France change you and the way you look at parkour? It definitely changed the way I see things, changed the ways I teach people, changed the ways I train. Parkour is blowing up around here. I mean, there are shoe companies coming out with parkour shoes. There's parkour classes. There's hundreds of people doing parkour in every state. There's parkour clubs and universities. For you, do you think you'll still be doing parkour five years from now, ten years? I intend to do parkour as long as I can. In parkour, there are no obstacles. There are no barriers. You just see opportunities.